These are the images I've captured with a Seastar S30 Pro. And if they don't blow your mind, then maybe the price will. Oh yeah! It is pound for pound the best telescope on the entire planet right now. And that's thanks to its new improved design. This is the older version, the Seastar S30, and it has now been superseded by the very similar looking Seastar S30 Pro. The difference is this now uses a quadruplet APO telescope and an IMX 585 sensor, which allows you to take incredible high quality images of our nice sky in 4K resolution. In fact, if you make use of their mosaic mode, then you can actually take 32 megapixel images of our night sky like this. Wow. That right there is an 8K image of our night sky captured with a $599 smart telescope, but it is only the tip of the iceberg. In today's video, we're going to take a look at what's improved with this smart telescope, the images that I've managed to capture with it, and then finally, my overall conclusions. You can also find a direct link to the telescope in the description below in the likely event that you've seen enough already. So how is it better? Well, it's not just the sensor and the telescope that have improved, although they are by far the most noteworthy developments. The Seastar S30 Pro is finally making good use of its second lens. Perhaps good use is underselling it. It has made this smart telescope into a wide field beast. You can now capture time lapses and create star trail images with this telescope and they are so cool. But what really sets this apart from just buying your own DSLR camera and capturing images like this is that the Seastar S30 Pro lets you freeze the foreground of your images, which is very snazzy. The cherry on top is that you can also capture 8K mosaic wide field images of the night sky. That's insane. The telescope itself is an engineering marvel, but the app that ZWO have built is second to none. It really is capable of some incredible things. It's unbelievably intuitive and informative. I think this telescope is an essential tool, even for more experienced astrophotographers. The app will identify the stars featured in your image and even overlay what constellations or deep sky objects you are looking at. It doesn't get any better than that for someone who is learning about the night sky and what is located where. You can then decide to switch between a wide field view of a constellation and look up deep sky objects located within it. Then you can read up on what they are as the telescope goes to and starts live stacking images to produce an increasingly more detailed view. You can then watch this happen in real time. It's incredible a piece of kit like this is available for under $1,000 and better yet, the app is free to use and doesn't require a monthly fee. There is also another use for the smart telescope and that is actually for daytime observations. It can track the movement of wildlife and capture stunning landscape images. So next time you're out on a walk and you come across some penguins, be sure to bring your Seastar S30 Pro with you. To be fair, it is small enough and light enough that you can carry it on your person. I think for about 99% of telescopes in the world, their tripods alone are heavier than the entirety of the Seastar S30 Pro. It's now quicker than ever to connect to thanks to the latest NFC function, meaning all you have to do is tap to get started. And if you're like me and you have multiple Seastars, you can now remotely control all of them and switch between them with ease. You can basically start up your very own observatory. You can capture decent images of the moon. It helps to utilize the two and four times zoom functions, but what is perhaps more impressive is imaging the sun. By attaching the magnetic solar filter, you can observe the violent surface of the sun, in particular, the varying sunspots. This again makes for a very cool project to continue observing over time. The sun rotates on its axis once every month, so a lot changes over this very short period. There's not a single solar telescope on the planet for less than $599, so the S30 Pro is an excellent budget alternative. Now, let's get started on the images. These are all relatively short images that I've captured of various deep sky targets. I think the shortest is eight minutes, whilst the longest is a little over an hour. I have made a lot of tweaks in terms of the colors and sharpness of the images, and the denoise feature that's now included within the app is sensational. Seriously, the difference made to your images in less than 60 seconds is like night and day. It reduces the complexity of your workflow now that you can edit your images entirely within the app.
So those are my images so far. Bear in mind I've only had the telescope for a week so there's still so much to come especially in terms of huge 32 megapixel mosaic images. If you are interested in the telescope then there is a direct link in the description below that will take you straight to ZWO's official store. Now in conclusion, where does the Seastar S30 Pro rank in terms of smart telescopes? Well as for its imaging sensor, it does not get any better. Seriously, even the $4,000 smart telescopes do not have sensors better than this little scope. For now, the Seastar S30 Pro is an insane bargain. I genuinely don't think you can match the level of quality of these images unless you spend $2,000 on an astrophotography setup. In fact, I'm releasing a video shortly where I compare the images I captured with a $2,000 setup versus those captured with a Seastar S30 Pro. I'm also releasing a video where I compare the planetary views with all three of these smart telescopes, as well as a video where I push the S30 Pro to its absolute limits, and another in which I take a deep dive into what is the best smart telescope money can buy. So be sure to make sure you're subscribed for all of those.